Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. As AI continues to develop in various countries, cheap R&D and manufacturing have become the core strategic strategy for the development of science and technology in various countries. China's cheap R&D and manufacturing are still in the exploratory stage, but the revenue in the first half of the year is far behind that of Japan. What's going on? Japan's cheap industry started quite early. This is also quite coincidental. At that time, the United States and the Soviet Union were in the Cold War, and the United States immediately took a fancy to Japan, a younger brother that had not yet developed. The United States wanted to make Japan a more useful power for itself, so that Japan could help it fight against the Soviet Union, so it strongly supported Japan in science and technology. You know, these processes and patents are indispensable for the development of cheap technology. At that time, the United States paid special attention to the problem of technology leakage, but it did not stop Japan's introduction. Japan is in a unique Confucian cultural circle, with a large number of cheap labor pouring into the market, so the integrated circuit industry has intensive labor. At the same time, the Japanese government also attaches great importance to the current electronics industry. Not only does it strongly support this industry, but it also takes the means of exchanging its own market for technology. Therefore, Japan has a great advantage in various technologies, and the price is very low, which laid the foundation for the future takeoff of Japan's semiconductor industry. 1966 was the opportunity for the rise of Japanese semiconductors. That year, IBM in the United States developed DROM, which is what we usually call memory sticks. Once this thing appeared, the entire market was hit hard. The Japanese government seized this opportunity and planned to surpass the United States in this technology. Japan wanted to quickly develop more perfect products, so the government took the lead in establishing a research institute. The government and enterprises cooperated and invested about 70 million US dollars a year to overcome this technology. After the research institute developed the technology, it would be transferred to various enterprises, and each enterprise would bring the technology back to its own production workshop for mass production. Such an operation is really confusing. You know, the government and those competing large enterprises joined forces to do this thing. It was bizarre enough to get together, but they actually did it. In this way, Japan's lack of technology in DROM was completely made up. From the perspective of capital cost, DROM is particularly dependent on economies of scale. The larger the production scale, the lower the cost and the more competitive the product. At that time, the United States was troubled by inflation, and the Federal Reserve was focused on combating inflation, which put the United States R&D work in a difficult situation. Looking at Japan, the government strongly supports it, several companies are competing fiercely, and the people love to save money. In this way, the cost of obtaining funds for Japanese companies is reduced, and companies have funds. Secondly, labor costs are not a problem in Japan at all, and the United States can only stare blankly in this regard. After Japan has gathered all its advantages, it can fight a price war with the United States in cheap manufacturing. Why? Because Japan's cost is lower than that of the United States when the technology and quality are the same, so it has a special advantage when quoting. However, Japan has developed for decades but has not been able to keep up with the United States, and now it has lost its previous momentum in cheap revenue. However, compared with the past, 
Japan has long lost its former prestige, which may have to talk about Japan's grand bubble economy. After all, in the eyes of the Japanese, although chips are high tech, they are still the same as manufacturing, and the return on investment does not fluctuate much. But their real estate is not like this. The housing price is very inflated. Therefore, before the national technology really took off, Japan's real estate industry took off first. At that time, a popular saying in Japan was that if all the houses in Tokyo were sold, the entire United States would definitely be bought. From this, it can be seen that Japan's ambition is no less than that of the United States. In this way, Japanese engineers are carrying heavy mortgages, and companies are also burdened with heavy KPIs because capital wants to make quick profits. The pressure of KPI is so great that everyone tacitly chooses the safest way. Doing familiar things well to complete KPI is already tiring enough, so how can you think about other things? Japan's real estate overdraft the creativity of Japanese youth for the next 20 years and caused Japan's economy to stagnate for more than 20 years. The United States is a hegemonic country in the world, and it is not easy to deal with a little brother like Japan. Under a series of operations by the United States, Japan's semiconductor dream is about to be shattered. However, our country's current chip industry is still at the level of low-end and medium-end chip products, and the research and development of high-end chips is still in progress. I can only say that we still have a long way to go in chip research. Despite facing huge external pressure, our country's scientific research and technology have been improving. In recent days, the United States has come up with a series of policies intending to use the methods used to deal with Japan to deal with us, but they have forgotten the perseverance of our Chinese people. There is still a long way to go in the future research and development and manufacturing of chips. We don't know what new problems we will encounter in the future. However, we can firmly believe that as long as we are full of enthusiasm and show the morale we have accumulated for thousands of years, small chips can be easily solved. No matter how great the external pressure is, as long as the people are united, they will definitely be able to do what they say is impossible.